Hola, buenos días. Es Nico. You will not bring your ghetto here. You will not bring your ghetto here. Okay, first, if you like this kind of content, follow me on Patreon at patreon.com slash Nico's Aesthetics. Like, comment, subscribe, notification bells. We trying to hit 3K, gang, 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 before, <laughs> before um, next year. You know, that's our goal for the channel. Um, oh, and my birthday is on Saturday. So if you want to feel generous, uh, cash out Nico's Aesthetics. Boop. It's uh, I'm turning 25. I'm also going out of the country next month, so that would genuinely <laughs> that would genuinely help a great time. But um, other than that, I think oh yeah, if you like video games, follow me on twitchtv Sex. We're about to finish The Walking Dead. We're at like the tail end of the final episode. We're gonna do the bonus episode of 400 Days, and then um, I'm either gonna try to get Resident Evil working again and move on to that or I'm just gonna do the second season of The Walking Dead because I own that game. Um, if you like comedy, twitter.com slash Nico's Aesthetic without the S. If you like thirst traps, Nico's Aesthetics, Instagram and Twitter, both, you know, pop it. I, I made a point on my alt. I was like, you know what, it's interesting. Once I stop talking on my main, you know, all of my, all of my selfies go triple platinum. Like everything hits five to six K no matter what just because I don't speak. And I'm like, that's femphobia. And one of my followers was like, no, you stupid bitch. It's because you're not causing all this drama and you're not being reckless with your mouth that people are actually supporting you. And I'm like, that's actually a logical, it's a logical step forward. That's most likely it. I'm not causing a lot of strife. So people are like, yeah, we can fuck with this. <laughs> um, aside from that, I think I'm done plucking. Oh, Nico, you have a zit. Yeah, perfect skin ruined. I was drinking so much this weekend. Every day, every day I was turning up. So I'm lucky that I only got this dot on my forehead and it was subsiding, but it finally became poppable and I popped it like a good 30 to 40 minutes ago. So that's why it's a little rare. <laughs> but um, let's move on to the actual story. You know, I'm already three minutes in, bitch is gonna be complaining. Y'all know how I am, I be ranting. Basically, Tay, official Tay, little Tay, I don't know what the fuck his name is. The one that used to fuck on Rico Pruitt. I don't know if they're still together. Um, the one I did that Only Hands video about, he got his ass whooped in the park. No, he didn't get his ass whooped. So they were all fighting and he got tased. He got tased. I remember that. Somebody was like, put the taser back in the truck. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Okay, I'm back. Okay. And then um, Milan Christopher, you know, the bald headed one that wore that wig, you know, that wore that loose wig, the loose curly wig for that white underwear company. And people were dragging him because the wig did not match the beard. If I can find a picture, I will post it. But aside from that, I don't really know what he does. I just know of his name. I think he has a dildo or something or a flashlight or... He, he's Was he on a reality TV show? That's the genuine question. Y'all comment down below. Like I, just, like, I really do not be checking for Milan Christopher just because shenanigans. So it's like... Does he have a, was he on a reality TV show? I could have sworn he was on a reality TV show. I think, I think other than that, he takes gay underwear pictures. There's that, you know? Um, but anyway, so they were fighting, they were beefing. Basically, Tay, he was on live, I guess, talking about how Milan Christopher wanted him to come fuck him. And he was calling Milan Christopher dirty and nasty and a hoe because he was supposed to be the third nigga to come fuck him, but he couldn't come fuck him. He didn't want to, so the other man went and fucked him. You wanted me to fuck you. I was supposed to be the second person that fuck you. That ugly, dusty ass booty bitch. You wanted me to fuck you. I didn't, I'm being real. I didn't want to fuck, so he called the third. The third guy was already coming down here to fuck him. He's dirty as fuck. So he was finna get fucked three times the same day. Like you're 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 a fucking dirty ass bitch. You're dirty, girl. That's not good. I'm just sitting here like, first of all, I don't know why you calling anybody dirty and a hoe because the, it's, it's the hypocrisy. Because Tay is an OnlyFans performer and an escort, so it's like. Bitch, you sell pussy. I'm not understanding how you can sit here and call somebody else a hoe because they're having regular stuff. Like, it's, 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 the, it's the disconnect. And you know what? I'm not one of those people that's like shame sex workers, but it's more of a, bitch, you do the same thing. 
<laughs> it's like you do the same thing. You have sex on camera. You you escort. Basically, bitch, you it's like you you do the same thing. So I'm not understanding why you call him nasty in a hole because he has sex three times in a day. Baby, do you know how much preparation goes into bottoming? If you if let him let him take as much dick as he want in that day because after that day he's gonna be tired of that shit. Trust me, I'm don't don't I have I have not had three people in a day. That's not me. But <laughs> I'm understanding of the process and it's his body. Let him fuck who he wants to. It's just it that was the base level hypocrisy for me, and I was gonna cover the story, but then it got interesting because Milan Christopher said, Oh really? <laughs> and he pulled up on Tay and he had one of his friends with him. And he pulled up, he was like, why the fuck you lying on me? And he's sitting here like, oh, well, you know, you was on Big O, you was talking shit and blah, 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 blah. And I, I mean, it was this kind of thing. And you know, we're not. So basically he had all this mouth, just like a lot of bitches do. He had all this mouth on camera. But when Milan pulled up with his homeboy, he was all, well, you know, it's just not that type of situation. And you know, blah, 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 you was talking shit first. So I was just talking shit back. And Milan was like, bitch, don't fucking lie on my pussy. <laughs> And I'm like, I understand that <laughs> because my thing is, first of all, Milan, you are a crossover gay person, meaning you are popular in the white gay community based on your loose curly underwear pictures, you know, you know, the, the, the sew in, but you are also popular in the black gay community because I believe you were on a reality TV show. I believe you were on a reality TV show and he's hot. So it's like, Milan Christopher is stacked. I don't know what you want me to tell you. <laughs> I'm not gonna come up here and lie just to like bash him or nothing. No, he's stacked. So it's like you have crossover appeal and you're popular while Tay is only known for OnlyFans. Girl, why would you even go back and forth with him? Because my thing is at this point, you are a bigger like than him. So I don't understand why you are going back and forth, but I do understand, okay, well, you're lying on my pussy and it's making me look kind of, making me look kind of sus by you saying I'm getting like a train ran on me every other day. So when he, <laughs> so I understood, he pulled up, he secretly recorded the encounter, he posted it, that's all good and dandy. My thing is, I wanted to cover this story, but they dragging it. You know, it's like they're dragging the encounter. It could have ended there. You confirmed he was lying. Everything was over. He backed off because he pussy in person and y'all moved on. But no, now they're on Big O or Instagram, like some form of communication network and they arguing, going back and forth. And you know what? I'm not even gonna insert that video. I have that video, like I found it, but just listening to it once on Twitter hurt my eardrums because it was just so fucking stupid. No words were really being said. It was just too fa- What'd you just say, queen? Faggot. Oh, what'd you say? Queen. <laughs> it was just two queens. You <laughs> it was just two queens just yelling at each other with no audible words coming out. It was just stupid. It was stupid. And I was just sitting here like, because one of my friends is an actual journalist. And I was like, I really wanted to cover this. But at this point, they're dragging it for attention. And he's like, welcome to journalism. People extend their little 15 minutes of fame to make it last as long as they can. And I'm just like, I understand that. But at this point, it's just, it's tired. So basically that was the situation. 
Tay lied on him, said Milan said, come fuck him with two other niggas. Milan said, bitch, you lying and you pussy. Tay was pussy and backed off and now they're arguing online. That's basically the whole story. It's kind of irrelevant, not to mention, people always ask me, Nico, why aren't you on Big O? You should go on Big O. Oh my God, you can earn money on Big O. Bitch, Big O is basically the c rank reality TV show for gays. It's really, it's really giving that for the gays and girls. They get on there, they make a fool out of themselves for some coins, and then they go home and sit in their one bedroom apartment. It's not for me. It's not for me. And you know what? I'm not, <laughs> not to shame one bedroom apartments. It's more so a, uh, bitch, you doing all this for what? Like, I would never, especially Milan Christopher, like I said, you have a career. You have an established brand. The fact that you are going on Big O to argue with a Tay, to argue with these other bitches, because I've seen him on there getting dragged prior. Bitch, why are you there? Like, I understand you need some extra coins, but at the same time, this is damaging to your brand. Like, it's not a higher class kind of app. You get on there, you throw shade, you drag each other, and then you usually have a fight video leak a week later. It's not worth it. I would never get on there. Like, no matter how much money you can make on there, I would not personally put my brand and or my patience into that. Like, I'm a very calm person. I don't be going back and forth with bitches. If you see me going back and forth with somebody on the timeline, it's usually in an educational way and or holding a conversation. I don't raise my voice. Do you think I'm about to be yelling at a fucking TV screen? Do you think I'm about to be yelling at a phone screen, a laptop? No. For what? It makes you look stupid. It's not for me. It's not for me. Drop your opinions on Big O, honestly. Is that your cup of tea? What do you really think? Because I really consider it just like a budget reality TV show for gay people. I really do. But that's just my opinion. But yeah, tell me your opinions. Tell me your opinions on this situation. Do you agree that it's tired and that they're dragging it out? Would you personally go and confront a bitch that said you get in a train ran on you online? I mean, I, pers I would not go in person. I probably would have cleared it up and aired it out. Be like... Bitch, you fucking lie and believe who you want to, but I'm not about to pull up with my homie and be like, bitch, keep lying on my name, we're gonna stomp you out. Because I just thought that was funny. I just thought it was hilarious how quickly he went, no, it's just not that kind of situation. When all the other times he had all this bark and he was so animated while he was yelling it. Bitches be pussy. They will talk mad shit, but when you pull up, they be pussy. That's what happened with that Only Hands video. That bitch got tased. <clears throat> that bitch got tased and learned her lesson. She ain't speak for a few minutes. And now she back at it again. But yeah, tell me your opinions. Drop them down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Notification bell, all that shit. Boop. And once again, a quick thank you to all my patrons on Patreon. And a quick shout out to my third eye tier patrons. Your support means everything to me and helps me do this a lot more smoothly. I will also be listing this week's live stream topic in case anybody wants to join in on the fun. I will see you guys there.